What's up guys, welcome back to Wizarding Wiz, your source for everything to do with the Wizarding World. So if you are new here, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on those notification bells to make sure that you stay up to date with everything that I put out on the channel. So the first half of the Brilliant Event is said and done, and the play from home aspect was a little bit better this time actually than the event at the end of March that they first tried it on where it was a little iffy and stuff like that. So this one was a little bit better and hopefully Community Day will be even better. Better. Now, because this community day is being a play from home community day, it will last just shy of an entire day. So, it will be starting at 12.01 Saturday morning, technically Friday night, depending on how you want to look at it. One minute after midnight. So, if you're a night owl like me and you want to stay up late, or, you know, if this quarantine because of the Rona's got you all messed up, and you want to stay up a little extra time, you can get started Friday night, go to sleep, get a couple hours, get up on Saturday, finish it with plenty of time to go on. There will be some tasks involved, nothing really crazy. Most of it catching uh, certain amounts of certain foundables, for example, uh, like 10 pickets and things like that. Because this event will be featuring the Central Park uh, page of the registry in the Magizoology section of your registry. So the most intensive thing you're going to have to do there, make sure you have at least two trace to potions ready to go because you're going to need to use two of them. Like I said, the rest is all just catching things. It's relatively simple and the rewards are worth it. You're going to be getting three different spell books, not three different spell books, <laughs> three red spell books, 40 gold, and 300 wizarding XP for all of that on top of the stuff that you get already, which <clears throat> which will be segments of the Mertlap Fragment, as well as some stuff to make a Brain Elixir, and one Brain Elixir, which is pretty cool. As far as what to keep your eye out for on Community Day, we're going to be getting the Erumpent, the Mountain Troll, Demi Guys, and Picket. All will be spawning in the wild. The Trace Detection Potion will help you spawn not only those, but you will also be getting the Bow Truckle Branch, the one with all the Bow Truckles on it. You'll be getting some of those if you run the Trace Detection Potion as well. Now, landmark areas are going to be turned off as they usually are for Community Day. In fact, they're going to be turned off until further notice. This was released with the notes for the recent update you guys might have noticed that came out yesterday or started rolling out yesterday. Some of you may have it already, some of you may not. Um, and I will make a separate video to go over all of those notes that will probably be up uh, tomorrow or later on tonight depending on time but just know that if you live near a landmark you're not going to be seeing those things for example i live right up the street from a nine and three quarters landmark flag uh, if i venture out of the house and go down there i most likely will not see the nine and three quarters stuff that i usually see it should all be magisu and that should be the same for everywhere that the flags are there will be special one kilometer port keys for this event they will also be giving you fragments of the mart lap so i guess it really depends on whether or not you want to waste the time walking to get the mart lap or if you want to just get it from the rewards for completing the tasks that's really up to you personally i find the other stuff in port keys usable you know uh like energy xp is actually really usually my favorite um and then some ingredients as well that you typically don't come across like unicorn hair and things like that are useful in the port key so keep that in mind when making the decision if you're going to use the port keys or not like i said they will only take one kilometer and if you pace back and forth in your house enough you should be you should be able to unlock at least one if not more at least hold on to them, maybe. I don't know. The choice is yours, guys, but that's what's going to be there. And, of course, as per usual, the free store pack. Now, once again, I don't understand why they continue to give us ingredients for the trace detection potion when they are so abundant it's ridiculous. I'm constantly deleting ingredients for the trace detection potion to make room in my storage for ingredients I need for potions that I use as well, aside from the tonic potion. But once again, we are getting enough ingredients to make one tonic potion and 50 spell energy. So at least I doubled the spell energy this time around because <clears throat> just 25 spell energy really kind of sucks. And personally, I think that they should get rid of the tonic potion ingredients even though i know that we were supposed to use two of them and using them is going to bring some stuff for the event most of us already have them or at least have enough ingredients to brew them and they're only taking three hours right now with the master notes so giving us the ingredients is really kind of a slap in the face i think personally they could be giving us better things than ingredients that are spawning 
on the map like crazy. Anyway guys, make sure that you stay tuned to the channel. There is some other exciting stuff coming out in the upcoming days, possibly weeks or so, um, depending on how long this quarantine stuff goes on for. There are more interesting factors coming to the game to make it a little bit more play from home. So make sure that you stay here to stay up to date with that. Good luck on Community Day, guys, and until the next one, stay safe and watch out for those Dementors.